Hey everybody, Josh here. Welcome back to the channel where I talk about IT, cybersecurity, education, and career things. In this video, where I'm going to talk about the realisticness, I guess, of attending WGU and successfully graduating as someone who's brand new to IT. But before we get into that, I just want to say, please follow me on Instagram. I'm really trying to post good content there and I'm trying to make, I guess, more following on, on Instagram. So um, check that out. Getting into this video. This video is actually in response to a viewer's comment. Bed Stewie guy says, my only issue with W IT curriculum is it's unrealistic for someone with no tech experience to complete all of those certifications to qualify to graduate with the degree, right? And it's true, like some of the, um, I won't say it's true, but like a lot of the IT degrees from WG like tend to have a lot of third party certifications that are required to graduate. And for those of you who don't know, like WG is just an online accredited school for the IT programs. A lot of the classes are satisfied by third party certifications like CompTIA A+, Network+, Security+, Plus, like ITIL certification, C. CNA. And those those classes tend, well, they are, those certifications are, I will say, much more difficult than the actual classes at WGU. And some of the degrees are more certification heavy than others. But I will say most of those certifications, I guess, with the exception of probably CCNA and is it CCSP, I think are, well, they're, they're all entry level, but those two are like kind of difficult. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say it's like unrealistic, to be honest. If you don't know what you're getting into when you enroll in one of those degrees with a lot of certs, you're probably going to be surprised and have a difficult time if you don't know what you're getting into. But if you are a new person and you kind of know what you're getting into, like if you watch my channel and I really like break down how to tackle those third party certifications, like that three phase approach, like where you prime yourself with videos, drill a bunch of practice problems, and then polish yourself off by re-reviewing the problems that you got wrong many times and kind of diving deeper into those, you're probably going to have a hard time if you don't approach it meth methodically. Methodically? You you don't have to pick the degrees that have like super a lot of third party certs. So for example, the bachelor's in IT management doesn't have any certs, right? Or the, what is it? I believe the bachelor's of science and data management. I, I believe that one has less certs and the certs are not really difficult either. I think it's like ITIL A plus and like something else, um, if I recall. And you can also kind of make the degree even more easy because sometimes some of those certs can be satisfied by, for example, st courses from study.com. I believe the project management management course, for instance, from study.com will satisfy the project plus certification. The project management course is easier than certification in the sense that it has like lower stakes because third party certs like tend to be like kind of hard because it, this is my opinion, right? The the cert holder, you know, wants to keep like a certain pass fail rate to seem more relevant. So the, the exam is like unnecessarily obtuse and more difficult than it needs to be, to be honest. So I would recommend, you know, for instance, if you want to get an IT degree that has some certs, maybe like the data management degree. I'll put a link to this in the description. If you want to make it like more easy for yourself and a higher probability to graduate with less money, I'd recommend like doing as much of the classes as you can from study.com, um, including the project management class, of course, if it's there, because that satisfies one of the certs. So yeah, like getting back to the comment from the viewer, um, I wouldn't say it's like unrealistic, but you have to know what you're getting into. If you just hop into a degree with like 10 certs or something like that, like I wouldn't even necessarily recommend doing that. It will be hard, but it's not unrealistic realistic for you to pass, right? Everyone, everyone can. Um, it's just going to take some time and effort and humans are smart, right? Check out this video. I keep shilling this video a lot, but it's really important for you to understand. Um, if you don't understand this already that, you know, if you're watching this, like the algorithm fed you this video on IT instead of like Sesame Street and, you know, you speak the English language, you, you definitely have the aptitude to do something as trivial as passing like A plus or even CCNA. Like when you look at it at face value, like, oh, CCNA is like kind of hard, but you know, it's not that hard in the grand scheme of things um, compared to like playing League of Legends is like 10 times. No, it's like 100 times harder than like getting a CCNA, right? So don't worry, you, you can make, definitely make it easier on yourself. Pick an easier degree, use study.com. Just approach it methodically, watch this video and you should be good to go. Check out my Instagram again. I try to post something there for you that's nice and interesting and we will see you in the next video. Okay.